Good morning, humanity. Good morning. How are you all today? Well, I'm just fine. <laughs> Once again, we had a problem, but uh, I think we've got it together. And this is November 20th, 2017. And my name is Paul. Yes, it is. <laughs> because my name's Beth. And we're just trying to see if we've got uh, juice here. <sighs> and uh, we'll see how this works. No, there's nothing coming through. Is any. Oh, we have, we're able to see people here. Clara. Clara. Oh, oh Clara, yeah. Clara. Hey, see if you're, are you hearing us out there? Yes or no? Let us know. Oh, wait, here it is. Okay, we are going oh. through. <laughs> oh, it changes. All right. My name is Paul, and this is Bev. <laughs> we, there are some things coming across. Oh. We've made it, so... I'm thankful. I'm thankful. <laughs> We're going to do a show. Here we go. We're going to try and do the question today. How do we put love into action? Wow. Okay. And the action is we sure got to figure out this program. I know. They just changed our Facebook. And so it was all different. Oh. So we were live last okay. time. But we're going to try it again. Yeah. And we're going to answer that question as we try to teach you how to do BioTouch. And we're also going to always go over a piece of the book or the manual. What else? <laughs> oh, yeah. What else? Okay, I'm just still trying to get right here. Um, well, we would love to, like, people like Clara, who are joining us and letting us know, and we can see that, and, you know, sending in uh, questions or comments to us. And also, we always want to update you on what's happening around the world with our Certified oh, Practitioner yes. Network. But uh, first, let's just share, before we get to the question, we want to share with you, we just had a CP class, certification program class, and there they are. That's uh, the class there on the left with all of our instructors, wonderful instructors, and that wonderful picture on the right is Jordan, Chris, and Rose, who all became what we call graduate practitioners. Right. So uh, it was a wonderful class. We had a great time. We had a lot of nice insights. Uh, that class is designed to do a lot of dialogue, a lot of talking, a lot of mm -hmm. self-awareness oh, comes out. Such a great class, yeah. man, I tell you. And uh, we'll even talk, we had uh, Sally in there when she was, uh, she's an instructor. Well, she's a certified practitioner. Right. And, uh, you know, it was neat what she said at the end of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. made me kind of like, oh, that was nice. Well, evidently something's being put into action here at the center because she was saying that... Uh, in years past, it, I don't know, I don't know the words she used, but it was like, uh, it was dependent you know, on one person, depending on one person. Right. I wonder who that was. <laughs> and uh, now there's this whole new energy here. And, you know, it's, it really is just love. And we are attracting the right. most amazing people to come in and share BioTouch and help us to get this. Uh, more into the world. So what she said is it was it was no longer about one person. It was an organization that could go on for a long period of time beyond all of us even working there now. That this it was really growing globally in its consciousness and its awareness and its application. Well, that was a really nice thing for us to hear because you know we're all working to have that happen. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's okay. Take a breath. <laughs> Take a breath. <laughs> Whenever we can't get online, it just sort of like blows well, it, the circuit a little does, bit. It does, right? Yeah. So, but but uh, so we have two new people that are on board now with us who just graduated, not just from that class, but also did their sixty hours of internship here at the center. Wow. And we'd like to introduce you to our new staff members. Oh, isn't that just I a love wonderful that picture. picture? That's just perfect. Rose and Chris. And uh, they are now on the staff schedule. They're they going to be helping are. us get BioTouch out there to folks. And we are so grateful to have them. Yeah. And in fact, Rose is the Tucson puppeteer. She's going to do a little uh, entertainment for us at our holiday party, I know. too. I'm and, looking uh, forward to that. Chris is, uh, comes a long way. comes from Benson. takes him yes. almost 45 minutes to get here. Yeah. But he has put himself. He'll be here on Monday mornings. And uh, Rose will be here on Wednesday mornings. No, uh, Chris will be here on Wednesday, Wednesday afternoons. Yeah, yeah, Monday afternoons. Right. So if you'd like to talk to them and you don't live in Tucson, just call. Talk to them. Yeah. 
323-7951 and you can talk to our new certified practitioners. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that would be cool to do. Yeah, I'm really happy. So, um, we also, so let's go over that question. How do we put love into action? And how we came up with this uh, question today was really funny because I'm sitting in the wee hours of the morning figuring out, okay, what should we talk about? And it pops into my brain and I come here and I'm all excited to tell Bev about it. And what does she think she tells me? <laughs> <laughs> this morning, I'm like, oh, I wonder what we're going to talk about. What about put love into action? <laughs> oh, because what something happened. I saw something on Facebook right, too, right? Right. What was that? It was, it, was, it was just a little statement about love is the gift of life. And when I looked at that, and the picture was a, a, a gift box all open with things coming out of it. And I'm like, well, that's what I always think about what BioTouch is. It's a gift of love. And then I just made a comment um, on there that, and BioTouch is the application of the gift of love. Yeah. So that is why we're going to sort of talk about it today. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we don't have a better way to describe this for the next three minutes. If you feel like you need to fast forward this, if you're watching this at replay, that's fine. But we have a, a wonderful song that expresses this written by our very own Horace Barnes. And what he does is he writes these songs and then he sends them to Nashville to have them put it to some country western. Right. He's a country western guy right. in heart. Yep. And uh, then he has them published. And uh, this is a song that he gave us as a gift. And we would like to share it with you and journey with you through some of the wonderful faces of Biotouch. <laughs> If pain has got you down and you live in town Take a trip down to Pima Street The people down there are people who care They will get you back on your feet Put love into action Put love into action If you ever want to have any real satisfaction Choose love while you still can Don't even try to understand The healing grace in your own hands Put love into action I know you have heard these beautiful words Love thy neighbor as thyself Using BioTouch will help you so much You'll never need anything else Put love into action Put love into action If you ever want to have any real satisfaction Choose love while you still can Don't even try to understand the healing grace in your own hands Put love into action Teaching people how to heal Energy healing is such a good feeling It'll help you if anything will Put love into action Put love into action If you ever want to have any real satisfaction Choose love while you still can don't even try to understand The healing grace in your own hands Put love into action
put love into action. Put love into action. What a wonderful song. Wow. Just wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, Horace, so much. I know. Uh, it's so inspiring. You know, that part in there where it goes, healing is such a good feeling. It will help you if anything will. And, uh, you know, when we were listening to that, I said, you know something? There is going to be a time where this is going to be on the country <laughs> music award show. <laughs> and why not? Why not? I mean, it just shows you that BioTouch really jumps the gap of belief systems and, and where you live on the planet. It showed all those different people around the world and all oh, those yeah. happy faces. Oh, I know. Well, that's what love does, right? Right. It brings us happiness, yeah. health, love, <laughs> our so, birthright. And so how do we put love into action? You know, what was it you were telling me about the, the – the, like as it showed there, and, and Horace was sharing it, that the hub here at Tucson – you know, on Pima Street. That's just where it's sort of reverberating. Well, we call it the heart center. Uh -huh. It is the heart center because it is the center for the whole world. This is where everything comes out of. And I, you know, I kind of have this image of uh, this being the heart and then the circulation that goes out with all of those amazing people around the world who are helping us. But the blood is biotouch. Yes. That's what's being circulated around the world. And yeah. it really is. It's like Sally said, you know, all of a sudden this thing's taking off on its own and and, uh, and it's uh, Germany and we have this woman in Switzerland and we have India and we have Egypt and we have Chicago and we have, you know, yeah. Oregon and yeah. Phoenix and Colorado, it's Colorado now. Right? Yeah. Well, people are ready. Yes. Uh, we can actually say, you know, for the last three years, we've been saying, well, what? When people, BioTouch is going to be here when people are ready. Well, now I'm knowing that people are ready. Yes. Yeah, we're ready to step in and put love into action in our own lives and to contribute to that greater, you know, activity with everyone we meet and how we speak to each other and how we touch each other's lives. And it's that touching that really... You know, we can't say it often enough. This simple thing that we have called BioTouch is such a way to put love into action. You know, I, I just wanted to whoops wanted to read this thing that was uh, posted this morning by Anita Morjani. She's a woman who uh, died, so to speak, had four, stage four cancer. All her organs shut down. Uh, died there in the hospital, and uh, minutes later came back, and all of her organs were working perfectly. Yeah. And she had no cancer. Now, that really is a testimonial to questioning what is this body? What right. is the possibility of this body? Yeah. And so the one message she got was about it's about love. It's about that unconditional thing, that blood that flows through all of us. Mm -hmm. And she said this morning, she said, if we all truly knew that we are unconditionally loved and we are all connected We'd act with more kindness and reverence for ourselves, each other, and even our planet. And our approach to life as well as our approach to death would be one of love, not fear. Wow. That is just powerful. Yeah. And that is what BioTouch is about. It's about the application of love. It's about putting love into action. Yeah, and... and Love is a concept out there for a lot of us, but we're trying to, if, how do we do that here in this body, in this life, in relationship? Yeah, you know, I was thinking about that this morning. I'm thinking, well, you know, we all tell each other, I love you. You know, that's, I don't, I'm not quite sure we really know what that means. But when we actually show somebody with our action that it's true, we are, what we're saying especially with BioTouch, we just reach out and touch someone very lightly on the skin with that loving touch. We're saying to that person, you are worthy of this great birthright. And for me, the body, what's so amazing about BioTouch is the body itself is a, it holds everything within it. 
And it all, it's waiting to be open to all the possibilities, all of the hope of being whole and being love and loving. And that touch begins that journey. It is a journey of love that our body recognizes immediately and can be whatever it wants to be. And that for me is love because nobody else needs to mess with that. <laughs> yeah. You know, love is just accept acceptance, honoring, and allowing everyone to step into what's already theirs. So, And you know, what's interesting about when we talk about the body and how we, that's all we do is we address the body. And because that's the one thing we all agree to. And I was just reading today, it's on the news, that they just found some bones recently in China. And they think those bones are older or old, the oldest, even compared to the African bones they found. And so what they're having to re-understand is, well, maybe people didn't come from Africa and maybe they started in China and you know, who knows where the heck we all came from, but they're looking at 200,000 years old and you're giving me some of, of the teachings that have said we're, you know, 1.5 million years been on this planet. 18 and a half million <laughs> right. years so, we've looked like this. So archaeologists, <laughs> they would be blown away by that one. So, you know, whatever your theory is, this body, this thing that we so-called sit next to and we bump into it and is an incredible, incredible magical tool that we have to communicate with one another oh yeah it's i believe it is a beautiful it's a temple that's in the process of of being potentialized and love is the activity that brings that temple into its finest purest expression and that way for us yeah. the easiest way right now in this day and age on the planet that we feel that that can happen is with these two fingers touching another human being lightly on the skin. Mm. It is the mm. application extraordinaire of how to put love into action. And that's why it's here now? Yes. Because, that, oh, humanity is just, we've been waiting, waiting for something to, it's already cracking open. We're cracking open. Right. Right? And so guess what's waiting for us? This amazing gift that really helps us to come through this. And it's as simple as doing even just one point, you know, and that point is always available in our book. It's online. You can download it for free. It's the greeting set. And if all we did was the greeting set on another human being today, we would create a chain that would go on indefinitely. Mm, yeah, absolutely. And it's so powerful. Yes. So we're going to share with you how to do the greeting. The greeting is always performed at the beginning of each session. It's the only set that uses one hand and the only set that indicates which hand to use. The greeting is performed with the dominant hand. If you are right-handed, use your right hand. If you are left-handed, use your left hand. The greeting is made by touching at point one, which is in the fleshy area just below the bottom of the breastbone or sternum. Hold this point for six to eight seconds. Then with the same two fingers, touch point two on the back. To find point two, look for the big bone at the base of the neck. From here, move one to one and a half inches to the left. This is point two. Hold this point for six to eight seconds. More than one associate may work with a recipient provided that all of the associates perform the greeting. If the associate or the recipient leaves the session, or if someone who hasn't done the greeting touches either the recipient or the associate, the greeting must be re-established. Then the session may proceed from where it was interrupted. You know, that, when I see that, I'm always reminded of the basic, purpose of why we want to get this out. That family, that's our target area. To That little boy went up and gave his dad that greeting. And, and from there, you know, did the sets of points. But 
that he learned. And that's how simple it is. You know, that's if nothing else happens, that's our whole purpose is to have families share BioTouch and come together, take a few minutes to just be with each other. That's a powerful healing for the you know, family. Imagine just every morning or at night, if you just did the greeting. Yeah. Imagine if we all just started practicing that, how that would just balloon out, you know, because just working on one person is working on everyone. You know, if we really come from the same as, as Anita said, this unconditional love, if that's the, the blood that flows through all of our veins, if that's mm -hmm. the molecules in all the air, I mean, if, if we really can participate in that, and again, it doesn't matter what belief system you are. I mean, we have a country western song that works just as well as right. if we put that to rock and roll or rap maybe we should get a rap song that put hey, love into action why not? that would be fun but you know love breaks down all those barriers yes biotouch breaks down all the barriers it breaks all the barriers yeah. because it meets all of us at that one place that we all agree to that's the same with everybody on the planet and that's these bodies so to put love into action just try that today just you know, if you think you would be able to try that, you know, let's do this little fun thing and just write greeting, you know, in the little comment section here, you know, now that we can actually see it too. And, um, you know, write greeting in here. And even if you're seeing this as a replay, put greeting in there. And I think if we get that out there enough, right. people will start to just, they won't even think about it. It'll just be part of their daily practice. Yeah. Reach out and touch someone, yes. right? Reach out. And say, and when you do, you're saying, I love you. Yes. You're saying, I love you, Act, you know, putting that into action. Into action. Not just saying it, but showing somebody. Yeah. So that's what we like doing these shows. It's for This for us is putting love into action. It's, it's finally stepping out there, talking about it, reminding us how powerful this simple touch healing can be mm -hmm. and how we're just trying to get it all around the world with people. Uh, you know, we just start here at the center. And it goes from there. And let's see, where are we around the world? And and people are just starting to do it. You know, they're reading Deborah's book, BioTouch, Healing with the Power in Our Fingertips. And they're getting inspired to do it. And so if you know somebody, this the holidays coming up, you know, get the book for somebody and uh, send it to them if they're even considering doing BioTouch. Uh, we'll have the ability to download this little song by Horace, or if you'd like us to send it to you, send us an email and we'll send you. Putting love into action by Horace Barnes. Yeah, that'd be great. You know? And just does all these pictures and everybody's happy and it's gorgeous. You know, we're on this planet and it's just time that we could really do a little love and for I each other. I think the chain that goes on indefinitely, I think we're beginning to see um, physically from here. That is, that is being built. We are building that chain for sure. And... The, the icing on the cake is the body can get better, as Anita Moore Johnny found out when she came back with just love and she stopped living in fear of her body. Mm -hmm. It just started to create a, a healthy vessel for her to pract practice and give that message to people. And live. Yes. Live her live. life. Yeah. So, again, we want to thank you for another wonderful day of sharing BioTouch. Again, Thanksgiving is coming up this week. Oh, gosh. Happy Thanksgiving Happy to you. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm so grateful to be part of this. And we're grateful that you've allowed mm -hmm. us into your home and into your phone and into your computer. And remember, just touch. If pain has got you down and you live in town, take a trip down to Pima Street. The people down there are people who care. They will get you back on your feet. Put love into action. Put love into action. If you ever want to have any real satisfaction. Choose love while you still can Don't even try to understand A healing grace in your own hands